Well, I believe in God. And the only thing that scares me is Kaiser Soze. I want, I want a movie suggestion from you guys. Give me something underground. Give me something hard. I had like massive, 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 massive fucking ADD in the 90s. Do you know I saw The Usual Suspects and somewhere in that movie I daydreamed and just sort of checked out for a good 20 minutes. And in the end of the movie, when this, I'm, no, I'm not going to spoil it here. Whatever the big reveal was. The butler did it or, you know, the end of the mystery. Like, as the whole crowd in the movie theater was like, oh, oh my God. Oh. And I was just sitting there like, uh, what happened? I wasn't listening. I just kind of zoned out. I zoned out after the police lineup. <laughs> How many keys, you cocksucker? In English, please. Yeah, when Benicio Del Toro was like, ah, get all you motherfuckers when he did that, I thought that was hilarious. In English. How many fucking keys, you cocksucker? What the fuck? <laughs> Number four, step forward. I don't know. I think I just started thinking about my own life and... Will I ever get to do a movie? Can you imagine being in a movie? Look how good these guys, how do you get as good at acting as these guys? Guys, I just started thinking about that shit. I started thinking about what if I, you know, went to, what if I had gone to a different high school and I, I majored in drama or I just started thinking all of this shit and then all of a sudden it was just the end of the movie. That used to happen to me all the fucking time. I would go to see movies and, um, yeah, just halfway through, I would just start thinking of shit, and I couldn't even focus on them. So I, I should probably go back and watch The Usual Suspects. Maybe I'll watch that this week. That'll be good.